haven't had a bit of problem with uh, my video capturing software yesterday, so that's why I didn't put up another um, another video. But um, I'm not very happy. Yeah, so, and, oh, and um, like, the, the video, I had a bunch of problems. First, the video I recorded, none of my video editing software liked it, because I tried it on a new codec. <clears throat> and I went and saved over my save state, so I had to play through the little beginning of the game again. That's okay. So anyway, we're heading up to our first dungeon here. Not sure if I said it in my first video, but um, one of the things that like sort of peeves me about this game is that this guy has like basically no reach with his weapon, and you have to basically wait until he's they're like on top of you. It's the ocarina. Hey. So now it's time to play the ocarina. Also, um, if anyone decides to play this at home, you have to actually go and talk to the one of the women in the village, um, and she'll tell you how to play it. And yeah, I guess you can just sort of fake it, um, but I recommend just go and talk to her, it's real easy. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> Go. Seal broken. Look at these mushrooms. <laughs> Arr, die. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, th these mushrooms don't really make very good bad guys, if you ask me. Just look at it. <laughs> I'm a mushroom. And last but not least. I also recommend writing these things down, because you do actually, you sort of play it with your controller. Which is kind of cool, but... Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Another thing that kind of, kind of annoys me is that none of the bosses have sort of, like, hurt animations. Probably because you got the piss handle of the sword. Come on. I like how you can equip, like, the magic and the items, by the way. How you do that, like, um, you equip it in the equip screen, but, um, you press up and then one of the two buttons to use either your item or your magic. Yeah, so there's no, no the bosses go, ow, or anything. Yeah, they just make a weird noise. It's a money! I don't even know what those pot things are. Yay! Yeah, but you can't change any of your equipment in the middle of a boss battle. To the door. Ah, how convenient. And the next sign. Okay, so we've basically finished this part now. And I didn't use my health potion, so I don't need to go in there. No, there's no more. Now you've killed the big bad mushroom. Thanks to you, the village is saved! Keep the ocarina, it might go in handy! 
It sort of does. Um, I'm gonna go stay at the inn. It's like 400 bucks. It's not too bad. Yeah, the prices in this game go through the roof. Um, about halfway through. It's like everything was really cheap to begin with. But I guess that's okay. I mean, later on you get you start getting enemies that'll give you a couple hundred bucks every time you kill them. So that's not too bad. Overall, I'd say this game is pretty balanced. Thank you so much! Alcino is once again a peaceful village. Go beyond the large tree and you'll reach Purapurl. Okay. If you are in any kind of trouble, please come and see me again. Sure. So now we're going into the dungeon inside the tree. Which I thought was kind of weird and ironic. This is the first place where you see these bats. And uh, enemies such as this will haunt you throughout the game, as they do in a lot of retro games. Especially Castlevania and Resident Evil. I liked in uh, the remake of Resident Evil, you see a bunch of crows, and I think you can kill them, but they don't actually hurt you. Unlike in all the others, where they were, they could be one just one of the most annoying enemies in the whole game. I have to say, I do like the music in this game. It's pretty cool for a Master System game. This is one of the major hubs in the game also. You'll come back here quite a few times. Just because um, it leads to a whole bunch of different places. It's like like the the purple village that I'm or purple or whatever it's called that I'm about to go to. It's like the main village hub. So it's one of those two hubs. There's the dungeon hub, which is this place, and the village hub, which is where I'm going now. Like all the villages basically lead back to the place where I'm going now. This guy's a pansy. And he looks pretty tough. But he just isn't. Uh. I am the Dread Knight. Chibi. Oh, here's a princess. I had been held prisoner by the monster. I'd like to thank you. Please come to the castle hall. Awesome. First, I'm going to spend a night at the inn. Looks like it's just about time for me to go. Um, please leave a comment on my um, about my video. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, just going to go and talk to the princess, and I will see you later.